Hello. This is uh, quite good. It's a good job I've done a bit of uh, mobilisation already this morning, isn't it? Um, this is something that I've worked out would help me solve the problem of missing out on autumn. And I've missed out, I feel like I've missed out on autumn in the last few years because normally autumn for me would be spending a lot of time in the woods, exploring, looking for fungi, taking lots of photographs, really enjoying all the sensory experiences of autumn. And yeah, I can't do it, it's not available to me now for various reasons. And I keep looking outside and seeing the trees getting barer and barer and I find it really difficult. So, oh, right, I'm going back behind it now. Um, there, I know there are lots of people like me who will be feeling the same. So, here is a sensory leaf drawing um, experience and if you're not able to go out and collect some leave yourselves you can hopefully ask somebody to do it for you and hopefully they'll be kind enough to get you a really nice wide range of leads like I've got here so that you can have a really good sensory experience now um Let's start, as always, we're taking some nice, deep, slow breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Oh, sometimes with a nice sigh. Ah. And if you haven't done any warm-up exercises, please pause the video and do them now. Make sure you do some nice warm-up mobility exercises for your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, your hips, your knees. Even if you're lying in bed, some small movements with some nice slow rhythmic breathing. So, senses, let's start with a sense of smell. Now be careful because obviously I don't want you breathing in all kinds of insect fecal particles into your nose, but you could get a big handful of leaves or you could just get a couple of small ones. You don't need to put them right up to your nose. You can you can see if you can sniff them. Actually, I'm going to bring them up to the screen because if you if you haven't got leaves and you haven't been able to get some, I want you to actually imagine how they smell. So I've got. Have a go with this one. Go on, have a good sniff. Earthy. Actually, that slightly chocolatey. So, put that nice ivy starting to turn. Have a good sniff of that one. I'm, I'm getting hold of another one to sniff. I've got a really poor sense of smell. actually gonna I've washed these so if you've got some that have been washed you might be able to get your head right in them which is what I'm gonna do now 
So excuse me while I give them a really good sniff. sniff and draw at the same time. Now whether your leaves are wet or dry you're going to get different smells. I definitely smell a lot more when I have this lot. I suppose the circle is my cyclical breathing. I really like the smell of these actually. They don't smell mouldy at all. But I am aware that I don't want to be breathing in particles. So, because I've got a really poor sense of smell, I need to breathe in quite deeply. Let me see if I can, it'll work better if I do a bit of wafting. Oh! That one smells a bit cheesy. So you can do this for as long or as little as you like. I'm gonna do more of this later. I'm, I'm, I want to keep this video short. Right now, let's have a good feel. We're really getting up close to these leaves and this is a really good mindful activity which will switch on our parasympathetic nervous system, which helps us calm down, which helps us Digest food. Well, some of them feel really, I'm not even looking at the page, I'm just feeling. And there are lots of different ways to feel these. Feel along the edges. I feel like I want a thinner pen. Some really spiky bits actually. And we've got other bits that are kind of, they feel leathery. So have a good old feel of your leaves. And if you've got a variety of leaves, well, you could go on and on and on. I mean, you could do a whole page just from one leaf. There was one I felt the other day, if I could find it again, that was like velvet. There it is. I'm not sure what kind of leaves these are, but that is so velvety, so dry on that side. Very, very rough around the edges. And then, oh, it's dreamy. But prickly as well. So I kind of need two pens with this, don't I? Velvety and prickly. Velvety and prickly. Actually, I could, I could have could try and do prickly with one and velvety with the other. That's quite a challenge. I can't do it. Have a go. That's really smooth and that's a really big coordination challenge. Oh no, I can't do it. That's 
quite fun to try though. Other people might be much better than me. So find out how they really feel. You know, what's the difference? What actually is the difference between a really dry leaf and one that's still got a lot of water in it? How do they feel? I suppose it'd be better if you had two of the same species. These are off of my weeping fig tree. And actually, this is quite incredible how different they are. Oh God, nice variation in dryness. What does dryness feel like? This one's really flexible and this one's really rigid. Oh, it's so smooth around the edge. And I realized when I started looking really, really closely, but not just looking, feeling, sensing, that this world of mine that's become so much smaller suddenly became a lot bigger because of these microcosms that I was looking at. And a really good example of this is this one. tower on it and I thought oh okay somebody's been building on this and then there were some other things going on here and then when I turned it over oh no where's it gone there was a snail living on this leaf and it's buggered off It was a tiny, tiny, tiny little snail. Oh, here it is. So that was living on the underside of the leaf and I think I'm gonna have to go and put it back outside because it's obviously a bit, a bit dry for it in here. But that, you know, that, just that for me, it really made my day yesterday. I'll put you back there. Okay, so I'm going to do a lot more drawing with these later. So what's next? Taste. Now, you know, it's totally up to you if you want to go around licking leaves. Um, I suggest that perhaps not. However, if you've got some lettuce leaves or, or other things that you know that are safe to eat, that would be fine. I just don't want to encourage people to go around licking leaves at, that turn out to be highly toxic and then you die and it's all my fault. So don't lick the leaves. Instead, ask somebody to bring you something from the fridge lettuce, cabbage, um, herbs. Yeah, I'm gonna do that with herbs. I've got loads of herbs growing outside. Okay, listen. Oh yeah, I've been looking forward to doing this one. So, if you haven't got any leaves of your own, you can listen to mine. sound when I drag them across the paper. I 
I realise that might be uncomfortable for some people. So the drier the leaves are, the more rustly they're going to be. What happens with the wet ones? That's a completely different sound. Oh, I'm going to do those and draw them. I would spend a lot longer doing this. I'd spend all day doing it. this one. It's best if you close your eyes when you're doing this. Oh, I really should draw this one as well. But you can really, really explore individual leaves. So spiky. Okay, so those are some ideas to get you started and what a beautiful page of marks there are. And that's without even looking at them carefully. So I'm going to do a separate video about looking at them. So just spend a lovely amount of time sensing and enjoy it and, and really engage with the leaves. Get really curious about them, get up really close to them, exploring all your senses with them before we even start looking at them to draw. Enjoy.